it's Shandy from Expression Fiber Arts. If you've ever wondered how to knit a gorgeous cowl, wonder no more. You're about to learn how to make this beginner level, yet ultra gorgeous, ocean inspired swirling sea cowl. It's a simple four row repeat that you'll memorize in no time. So grab some size US 9 circular needles, also called 5.5 millimeter needles, some worsted weight yarn, and let's begin. This is my nautical colorway and I'll put the link below for more info if you want that. Alrighty, so you're going to start by casting on 100 stitches and join for working in the round. Now, I'm going to assume that you know how to work in the round. If you don't and you need help with that, I recommend you look up how to work the magic loop method, which is what I'm using. I'm gonna cast on way fewer stitches, so I'm not taking up your entire day showing you how to knit this but you do wanna cast on 100 stitches, and I do have a video on the magic loop method if you want to learn it. So don't let all these cables flying around confuse you. You just want to pay attention to the stitches that I'm working, and you'll be good to go. Now, when you're joining to work in the round, the main thing to keep in mind is you don't wanna twist your stitches, or your cowl will end up being really crazy instead of a nice cylinder. So make sure your stitches are not twisted. And let's begin with round one. So round one is super easy. It's knit two and then purl two. And you repeat that all the way around. So again, it's knit two, purl two. And you repeat that all the way around to the end of your round. So I'll go ahead and finish up that round for you. And like I said, this is my nautical colorway. If you want that information, I'll put the link below. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up this round. We have four rounds total, so it's very easy to memorize. You'll have it down pat in no time. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with round two. So for round two, you're going to begin with a knit one, then the repeatable part is purl two, knit two, and you work that all the way around to the end until you have three stitches remaining. So again, you start with a knit one, and then you work purl two, knit two, all the way around to the end until you have three stitches remaining. And then when you're finishing up that round, you're going to work purl two, knit one. And you'll see once you've worked a few rounds, you're gonna see this starts to create a really cool spiral effect. So I named it the swirling sea cowl. It looks pretty cool and it's reversible, which is awesome. Okay, round two complete. Let's move on to round three. Round three is purl two, knit two. And you repeat that all the way around. Very, very simple. So again, round number three, you start with purl two. And then knit two. And you work that around. Now, if you are a beginner beginner at knitting, you'll definitely want to check out my beginning knitting video if you need a slower version or a closer version of all these stitches. There's actually only two, knit and purl. So once you've got those down pat, you will be good to go. So repeat that around and you'll be done with round three. 
Now, if you have any great ideas for future videos, please do post those below. I read all the comments and I love to hear your ideas. And I always love if you give a thumbs up. So if you do like the video, go ahead and give it a like for me. All right, so there is round number three. There's my tiny little cow. Yours will obviously be much bigger. So let's move to round number four. Okay, you're going to start round number four with a pearl one, and then I'll tell you the repeatable part. So begin with a pearl one, and then you repeat around, knit two, purl two until you have three stitches remaining. So you start with a purl one and then you repeat knit two purl two until you have three stitches remaining. And when you get to the end, you get to those final three stitches, you're going to work knit two purl one. And those are your four rounds. And if you want this pattern written down, like I said, you can go download that on my website. That'll help you out a lot. And also, if you want to sign up to my email newsletter there, I will let you know when I have new free patterns, as well as new yarn. We also do big monthly yarn giveaways, and I will let you know about those. You don't want to miss out on those. And there you go. When you're done, you want to bind off using a stretchy bind off, like Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. I do have a video on that if you want to check that out. Make sure to weave in your ends on the back side. Soak your item in water for 10 to 20 minutes, and then you wanna lay it out to dry. Make sure to rotate it once in a while so you don't get a crease. All right, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a great day, and stay tuned for next time. All right, bye-bye.